Hello everyone, this is one of those social experiments, although uh, this is not like I'm gonna go out on the street, punch people in the face and then tell them, oh surprise, there's a hidden camera, and then they all laugh and uh, we have a good time. Um, although maybe it's more relevant, um, but you know, because there's no shock value, I'm uh, not really holding my breath to get this 10 million views as the, those videos usually get. It's a simple social experiment, I'm gonna play play a bunch of uh, uh, games against randoms, completely randoms, because uh, basically there is this um, uh, conception or this uh, basic idea that um, playing against randoms is completely impossible on BBO. I'm gonna try that. So um, I actually don't know what to expect, because obviously it's not the first time I play with randoms, but uh, it's not something I do very often. My idea is to play a whole hour, or at least uh, as far as I can uh, manage. And I'm just gonna play, uh, I'm just gonna use this button all the time, help me find a game. Take me to the first seat available. So, like, as random as possible. And I'm also, um, I'm also... Um, I'm, wait, I have to fix this. Okay, all right, it's fixed. Okay, uh, so I'm playing with uh, somebody from Ireland, five card major, 1517, no trump, stay on week two, week two's uh, two club strong, strong, 19 plus two, no trump, week over call, double to show opening points. That seems okay, actually, no problem at all. This is board 99, that's amazing. These guys have been at it uh, for a while. Uh, my opponent, Einargo, from Iceland, okay, and Turkey. So, for people who are not very often here, I actually played bridge in Iceland for two years. It was, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's quite an amazing uh, bridge culture there. They were um, bridge world champions in 1991, and I think since then, uh, um, it really became very, uh, very popular. It was the first time that uh, that Iceland was a world champion in anything. And then um, handball came along, similarly popular. They were, they got a Olympic, um, Olympic uh, silver in 2012. No, 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 2008. Um, no, it was before I was there. I was there 2009 to 2011. Um, and I'm just uh, not really looking at anything because uh, clearly my partner is also not looking. But I'm not going to be this grumpy the whole time. I, I will uh, try to uh, to pay attention. Although this is the first board, so I really have no reason to. Uh, he's appear He appears to uh, be catching some clubs, but he's uh, throwing diamonds from dummy. This, um, I think he has five clubs, I guess. Um, he won the first spade with a king, I think. Or the jack, one of those two. Um, and uh, now he's catching his last club, I think. We'll keep ace double ton of diamonds. This is uh, basically my autopilot, and I don't really expect more than my autopilot. So he has actually six clubs and uh, two spade tricks and we're playing imps so i don't really care although actually in imps um giving a, giving away um large number of over tricks in um one no trump can be pretty foolish so hearts I guess we have a bunch of diamonds, if declared, discarded all of them from dummy, I'm not sure. Armonia, I didn't, oh, Armonia is from Turkey, never been to Turkey, one of these places I never went to. Um, and I mean, here I have to admit, and this is uh, not my judgment or anything, uh, actually Turkish people have a very bad reputation on, uh, on BBO. Um, to the point that many Turkish players actually hide their flag. So that's uh, maybe unfortunate. And I mean, it's a little bit silly, obviously. Uh, 
you know, well, I mean, this discussion is uh, obviously um, quite endless, not to um, brand the whole country for their bad apples and so on and so forth. I'm not going to get into it. And I'm also not going to say uh, what my general experience is or anything like that. I don't know where the 10 of spades is. Okay, the 10. Okay, declare I won the first trick with a 10, I guess. Okay, this is a 13 count. I'm going to open one diamond. I guess that's what my partner expects. He clearly isn't interested in table chat, which is fine by me. I, I'm talking enough as it is. Board 100. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to talk to them. Um, not exactly interesting talk. Uh, I can't blame them for ignoring me. Um, yeah, one neutron plus three. And uh, yeah, that is definitely stronger than uh, one neutron. I would bid one club and two neutron. Although obviously, um, can't blame anybody for uh, bidding, uh, bidding one neutron instead of uh, um, for, for, for bidding one club, one diamond, three clubs. Um, can't really do that. And actually we get a robot now in North, Mr. Einar Olafsson, or Mr. Olafsson should be. They were, um, he's thinking, uh, he's, uh, he, he, he gets a uh, robot, he can just uh, get a robot if he likes. Um, okay, and I wonder, I was thinking of uh, some kind of a rule to play at most four boards um, per, um, per partner, but maybe that's, that's a little bit rude. Okay, uh, this is not, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, because you can actually, um, If you're the table host, you can see the ta the board completion rate by uh, your opponents, by, by anybody who's trying to join your table and decide on that basis. So for example, if somebody has a board completion rate of maybe like 50%, it's a bad, it's a bad, uh, bad sign, right? Okay. Actually, so my partner started with a, uh, by running the Jack of Spades, uh, Jack of Diamonds, which um, I don't think that's that, that's the best way of playing. But okay, uh, one on Trump just made into push. I'm not really keeping track of the score. Um, okay, Blommy from. South Africa, Jan Blomeros. Okay. We even see his um, email address. I guess I should should try to... Okay, I can try double maybe. Yeah, let's try double, although I clearly don't have a lot of points. My partner bids two spades, that would be good. If he bids two hearts, yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna bid three hearts or four hearts, in which case I miss bid. I do think double is uh, the best call here, and I'm gonna try to bid my own game. I don't know, like um, two no Trump. That's that's what I wanted to hear. And um, go ahead, two no Trump. I'm not quite sure what my partner wanted. And how can he stop uh, diamonds if he has uh... Okay, maybe maybe two spades if I show spades with my double. <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean, I uh, wasn't promised uh, Garozzo here. Garozzo was in a different video. But uh, I will not start any discussions. Um, so this is this is rule number one. I will not uh, give any lectures or anything. 
uh, and this is I'm not doing this just for this video. I mean, if I uh, if I'm playing on uh, BBO uh, with random people, I uh, I'm happy if. Uh, Oh, this is actually interesting. You should play, yeah, not the ten. No, definitely not the ten. Oh, it doesn't matter what you play. Doesn't. I'm sorry. Now I was thinking you you have to play the seven and overtake with the queen, and then later, uh, you you have the four to overtake with the five. But it doesn't matter at all what you do. Um, interestingly, they they're not playing on clubs. And by now, uh, if you assume that South has the king, underline the king of uh, clubs, you can just play uh, even drive out the um, the king of uh, king of diamonds, or uh, yeah, indeed the ace of hearts because it was very very likely to be in north after the bidding and. Um, it's well, actually we actually missed the game here, although with a little bit of assistance from um, our opponents. So now we will see if uh, hearts are are breaking uh, three three. It will either be okay. No, we didn't. The jack of hearts is still out. But what? Okay, this is. <laughs> <laughs> he had nine tricks and he's gonna take six. <laughs> I, I I was gonna say nice try, but uh, the no no passive aggressive stuff, nothing. So this is a slightly less than optimal play, I would say. But okay, um, anybody can miss a jack. Here or there. One diamond, by the way, is also maybe interesting. I'm sorry, I'm um, um I'm obviously I should should be um, this is a science experiment, so I shouldn't be uh, too bad. And I I actually don't know about asking for consent or anything like that. Uh I don't think I need it. Because this is just uh somebody, yeah, it's like like Twitch or something like you, you just play with a bunch of people and you just record and I think I should move on I, I, I'm going to try this uh, going to try this uh, four uh, boards uh, per uh, partner and um, I don't know um, yeah Initially, I was gonna make some kind of a spreadsheet and put it somewhere on the, um, somewhere like uh, here or something, uh, with like how many rude people and how many polite people. But I'm not gonna do that. It it really does seem a bit uh, tacky. Uh, so I I will uh, not do that. I will uh, try to uh, keep this a little bit more civilized than that. Uh, if somebody wants to uh, to do a private a private uh, like um, book bookmanship, what is it called? Bookkeeping, yeah, standard book. Um, if if you if you want to do the stats yourself, you're welcome to do it. I will definitely not be on record uh, in saying about whoever on BBO and they are rude or they are polite. It's really you know, it is a little bit in the eye of the beholder, but um, of course there is some some stuff that you're not supposed to do. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into it here. And uh, again, I'm not really counting anything, but it really looks like from from the looks of it, I would say that uh, they're making a bunch of tricks. And uh, maybe my partner underlined the ace. No, no, he didn't. So um, not much. point to this thing. Uh, also like declare play the ace from dummy so that usually means that uh, he doesn't have the so that that declare has the king of hearts as well. I guess my partner underled the the queen of clubs. That that might make sense. Okay, a heart, yeah, the king is there. 
So this kind of very basic stuff of, uh, oh, what's going on here? Okay, unfortunately, yeah, this is a good hand, but I have to leave. Uh, okay, take me to the first feet available. I hope it's not the same. No, it's not. Uh, so about 13 minutes in, I'm playing with another person from Ireland. That's really cool. Betty Mac Quilkin. This is kind of some kind of a dirty joke or something. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry but maybe it is. One Marty from the United States and David K from Israel. Okay. Two hearts double. Okay. Well. I'm kind of tempted to just bid two spades because usually I think like randoms are more likely to overbid than underbid. I'm gonna be like the anti random here, like a determinist or something. Board 21. We are trailing, no, we're, we're leading by 4 amps. 44.6 to 33.9. My partner's thinking, three spades I will accept for sure. I have a very decent hand here, despite Marty's double, redouble. I don't know what he is thinking. I have definitely a, a nice little hand here and uh, I will not really think about it too much. And also, I'm I'm not even sure. Maybe this is a save. I'm happy to save in that case. Maybe Marty will decide to double. Uh, in which case, I will not redouble. Five hearts. Okay. Well, that's more interesting. But I think I will just leave it up to Tape Wall, Mr. McQuilkin. Maybe five hearts undoubled is the best contract. You never really know. I have some decent defense here. I guess maybe double would have been okay for my hand because I have, yeah, I have this king of clubs that maybe is not supposed to be here. I could have like just five or six spades and nothing. Or just the ace of spades. Let's say the, the same hand but ace fifth of spades and uh, something, the queen of clubs or two jacks or whatever, I, w I would probably have bid four spades anyway. It's a semi-save. Top of all is a uh, novice. Okay. So now a little bit of counting will never hurt. Uh, I don't know our leads or anything. So maybe easiest is to try to to get this uh, club trick. And then if my partner can win a club trick, then he will know to cash uh, um, a spade to beat the contract. Okay, the uh, ace of clubs is also good enough, I'm pretty sure. Okay, three tricks. Um, should we be worried about uh, five, four spades making? I guess so. My partner has ace queen of clubs. Uh, yeah, this doesn't matter what what um, this is if... Uh, okay, declare has three clubs. Uh, it doesn't. No heart. Uh, okay. Speed can go. And um, partner should be out of hearts by now. And, uh, yeah, the nine will be high now. And Declare has no answer to dummy because he ha he's out of clubs, I think. Oh, the nine will not be high. Good job miscounting stuff. And I, yeah, we're, we definitely are gonna make four spades. 
Um, even five, no? Even five. Um, yeah, we lose a heart and a diamond. Yeah, yeah, we, we make five spades. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> Yeah, he said he's a novice. It's it's perfectly fine, no problem at all. Um, and I will uh, still refrain from giving him uh, lectures or anything. I will bid one spade. I will uh, keep on doing uh, my stuff. It doesn't matter at all. That is my Quilkin. Um, I hope it's not people's real names. I don't know. It's an eleven count, but um, you really need to open this hand once spade. Um, some people might open the same hand with uh, this low spade in hearts. That is uh, with a four card spade suit, just to make it tougher for the opponents and also for some lead directing um, value. And that's probably okay. Let's spit two diamonds, and maybe I should just pass this here. Just let, let's just uh, stop it um, before we're getting too high because I, it is really quite a crappy hand. Okay, I'm sorry for moving myself. I can make it a little bit bigger to meet with this line. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, he said he's a, um, a novice, so don't worry. I'm not gonna discuss too much about the bidding, um, but for people who are watching and maybe are not novices, or maybe, maybe they are novices and want to learn a little bit, um, this hand is actually, it is uh, strong enough to open. So it is strong, strong enough to open one diamond. It's a bit, bit absurd. Like it's, uh, <laughs> uh, because my partner is talking about himself in uh, third person. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, so it's strong enough to open. You can open one diamond easy because you have three, three aces. So basically, um, nowadays people open every single uh, 12 count, but uh, even if you you don't, you would definitely still open um, uh, one diamond. And then um, after one spade, you need to come up with something um, stronger. Of course, uh, in... Um, uh, if he had not been a past hand, he could have uh, bid two diamonds indeed, and then after two spades or whatever I come up with, he can raise spades, and then uh, we're in a forcing auction. Um, after showing some uh, some points, and then uh, um, so if you show a suit and then you you raise spades, that actually means you have a strong hand. Normally people play that as game forcing, so you can't stop below uh, four spades or three no trump or something. Um, if uh, if he is a past hand, then we need some conventions for this, this kind of uh, situation. Or uh, if you don't have any conventions at all, you can be three spades, worst comes to worst. Most common way of playing this is uh, one spade pass uh, two clubs. That's called the jury convention. Um, and I would basically assume this, uh, this uh, even undiscussed on BBO. Perhaps to my... Uh, so I, 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 you, you assume this without discussion at your own risk. Definitely true. And here, uh, it looks like we're going down. That's a bit too bad because we're going to make two or three spades, I think. So we would lose um, a spade, 
uh, two hearts and a diamond I think so a spade two hearts a diamond that's how much uh, I don't know it doesn't matter uh, okay uh, two diamonds down one is at the moment is a push definitely not um, okay what's going on uh, no okay um so when when i was a kid well not just about 10 years ago when i started playing on bbo um i would play a lot with randoms and um yeah i i would just sit down and say look i'm a complete idiot i don't know what i'm doing i know psych you know standard american yellow card uh is it okay and then usually they would say yeah, sure fine whatever and um I would encourage them to to teach me if I messed up. So, uh, but it's 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 really hard to to teach bridge randomly. Like um, what I mean is, let's say you're in some kind of a one no trump contract, and it's like, um, how am I supposed to tell you how how to play one no trump? Like, I can't tell you stuff like, um, oh well, you know, lead low towards um, honors and not lead uh, the honors from dummy or st stuff like that. But I couldn't really tell you which you to play on or things like that. So, so a lot of these contracts are really tough to say. Uh, okay, I have some battery issues. I can fix them in a second. Uh, Mr. Tapeval has a lot of uh, hearts. Well, hopefully. Let's see. I have the charger somewhere. Um, I'm just going to wait until I see his hand. Just maybe a short evaluation. He does have a bunch of hearts. Actually, we're uh, basically in the par contract. Because hopefully he's gonna make it. Uh, just a second until I get the charger. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I'm here. Um, Battery is here. Okay. Um, and yeah, the only thing he needs to take care of is uh, to play on clubs at some point, not to take out all the trumps. He can even play a spade to the 10. Uh, the uh, spade to the jack, and that will also help. I'm sorry for all these noises. Didn't uh, order them at all. Um, six, seven, eight. this is seven, and then he has th uh, three trump tricks. At some point, he needs to get out the, uh, the ace of clubs, and uh, that indeed what he does. So, I mean, the exact right auction. By the way, this five diamond bid is really absurd, so <laughs> it's something you don't see every day, I think. But um, yeah, there you go. Um, pass and then bid uh, bid uh, five diamonds. Okay, let's see. What is this? This is a pass. And um, maybe I can make a little break at half time. Um, I just got some message, so uh, we'll do that. Not because of anything uh, related to bridge. Um, yeah. Three spades, and I have no bid. Uh, I'm sorry, I have uh, some diamond support, but I can't do anything four spades and I will not uh, bid five diamonds over it because it's really just um, just really random if my partner wants to uh, I have some goodies for him but not like this 
four no trump so they're going for slam i guess three spades was strong or something seven strong spades or something like that it's a little bit interesting just a sec Okay, six spades. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna double. You know, it's a little bit one of these uh, random stuff, and in, uh, in the um, random bidding in in the main, main bridge club. But uh, I'm not one to um, to uh, refrain from doubling stuff. I have an ace. I'm gonna lead it. Let's see it. So ace of uh, diamonds lead, unless my partner has seven diamonds. This is gonna cash, and now the only question is, can it cost to lead a low club now? So low club could gain if my partner can rough it. Um, if my partner can't rough it, then uh, the only case is if uh, declarer has queen singleton. But I, I mean, I don't really care about that. Yeah, of course, Ace of Hearts could be an issue, although South bid slam, so I'm just gonna try for this club rough. And if that, that doesn't materialize, then we have a little bit of a problem. Okay, it seems it's 1-1. One, one. Six page redoubled, okay. I hope my partner has something there. Mm. I think Tapeval thinks uh, that there is some kind of a, some kind of a command here. So if if you, you need to write, oh, I think because because uh, you see that it's like Atsta, for example. So so if somebody bids, um, okay, so that's too bad. Uh, yeah, that would have been a preemptive uh, overcall. But I mean, I knew that it's uh, it's a crapshoot to double such a contract. Uh, yeah, that's not not really a one diamond or but it doesn't matter. Uh, so it's like um, uh, that's something, and just a second. Uh, yeah. So this three three spade uh, overcall is really. Uh, Quite cool, but it doesn't matter. Um, it was uh, it was worth it, <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, be back in a little bit.